All right, let's take a look at your weather forecast now. What's going on? Cloudy conditions now, but we will see some breaks in those clouds a little later on. It's 76. It's cloudy and the winds are out of the northwest now at 10 miles an hour. That's a nice clue right there. You see those winds out of the northwest. That tells you that the cold front is now through. Look at the dew point. It's now in the 60s, 69 degrees. The barometer also 29. 95 hundredths of an inch. We still have some rain out there. Most of this is going to be now right along in south of I-70. And this is where the cold front is. So as it continues to slide to the south, we'll continue to see that cool air sneaking in. In fact, we'll just do a quick storm track there. And you can see this is moving to the southeast at about 19 miles an hour. Mason School, Mill Run Church, the Falling Water area, all will be in the path of that Ohio pile as well. We'll watch closely for this. The big concern with this area just north of Stewart is rain. It's going to be possible. So as it moves and continues to move through Fayette County, you are going to see that uh, possible. And especially in those hilly areas, we could see some minor flooding very quickly on some of those area roadways. So certainly give yourself a little bit of extra time. Here's a look at those temperatures now. 76 in Pittsburgh. Butler coming in 75 degrees to Norris 79 in Washington at 77. Still warm down in Waynesburg area. 83 there. Champion starting to cool off at 71 in Latrobe at 75. Taking the rain chances out of the forecast. Mind you, you can see right there, still say rain showers. Still possible, but mainly south of I-70. In fact, all of the rain at this point should be right along in south of I-70. It'll wrap up within the next hour or so. It'll be out of our area, and we should be dry for the rest of the day. Winds will be out of the north for the rest of the day at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Brewers taking on the Pirates once again tonight. There's the forecast for that. Temperatures right around the 80 degree mark should be actually fairly cool and comfortable. Not as sticky as what we saw last uh, night for the big game. Seasonal weather for the rest uh, for the rest of the week is what we are expecting. There is going to be a couple of chances for some rain, though. The first one of those getting here tomorrow. In fact, we'll go over just look at model data. A couple of spotty showers can't rule it out first thing in the morning. Most of the rain, though, will be arriving as we're heading into the afternoon hours. Notice the time there, 2 o'clock. Rain coming in from the west. Couple of thunderstorms will be possible. This is going to be a small little what we call a mezzo low, very small little area of low pressure that will roll right on top of us. As it does, it'll give us that chance for some rain. We clear out skies clear out as we're heading into Thursday. Thursday's looking pretty nice and most of Friday's looking pretty nice as well. We will have a small chance for some rain probably after about six or seven o'clock and sticking around into the overnight hours Friday into Saturday. Also, some rain chances. They're fairly low on Sunday is what it looks like at this point. There's your seven day outlook. 83 the high for the afternoon. Think we'll hit that probably after the five o'clock hour. And then as we're heading into the rest of the week, more seasonal weather right at 80 degrees or so for those expected high temps. Could be even a little cool at times as we're waking up. A couple of those mornings we do have temperatures dipping into the 50s in Pittsburgh, possibly even low 50s, maybe even 49 or 48 in an area just north of I-80, so we'll watch that. We could use a few of those. Yep. All right, thanks, Ron. All right.